This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting cyberpunk video. So, considering that you can't drop melee weapons in fights anymore and use them in these boxing matches since the newest patch, 1.1, uh, I figured it was time to do a Razor video to show you how to actually beat him legit. Now, the only way that I've been able to do this is with the gorilla arms. Now you don't need the, the legendary ones that I have. Any gorilla arms will work, but what you do need is to swap your physical damage knuckles to the thermal damage knuckles. Why? I don't know, but for some reason, these are the only ones that seem to get the AI stuck in a repeatable pattern. I've tried it with the physical damage, and I've tried it with the electrical, and well, the electrical doesn't do as much damage over time as the thermal. The bleed is nice. Bleed actually does, if you can get the legendary bleed knuckles, they actually do a buttload of damage over time. But using it with these, he will eventually swap out patterns of attack but with the thermal, he doesn't, and I'll show you here in a minute. And this, this doesn't matter. You don't, you don't need this. You can actually just, well, I can't unequip it, but you don't, you don't need this. It's, you just need the thermal because you're not going to do any charged attacks, so it doesn't really matter. You're going to do short jabs. Okay, so once you have your whatever rarity of knuckles that you have, and you have the thermal damage knuckles, then you're good to go. Then you can come in here and fight him. That's it. You don't need any special skills or anything other than that. So. So we're going to sit down and get the fight started. Now, before you sit down in the chair, you also want to make sure you quick save just in case. Let's because start. things can go wrong. You never know. But just you can quick save right before you sit in the chair. So the first thing you want to do here is keep your distance from him. He's going to do that. And then you're going to hit him with a few short jabs. Keep your distance from him at all times. So then he's going to do this again. We're going to block as soon as he comes in. Hit him with a few short jabs. He gets lit on fire. He does it again, and then we hit him with a few short jabs. Now, like I said, you always want to keep as much distance from you as possible or from him as possible, just to ensure that he triggers the same attack over and over. So he does this gap closing attack. You hit him with some short jabs. Now, don't block until he comes in at you too. So like now's when you want to block. I find that if you try to block ahead of time or you keep block up at all times, it changes his patterns as well. So you just keep your guard down, hit him with a few short jabs when he comes in. So comes in, I block, hit him real quick. He backs up, rinse and repeat. Drop block, block. Jab, jab, he backs up, and that's all we're going to do. We're just going to do this over and over, and I find that he just gets stuck in this pattern, and I think the fire helps, but I can't be sure. Like I said, I tried this with the physical damage knuckles because I like bleed a little bit better, especially if you have the legendary ones, you can bleed these guys out really quickly, but every time I did it with those, he would go into a different attack pattern instead of just rinse and repeating this. So you can see there, it was almost like he was going to switch up, but we lit him on fire and he went back into this one again. And he'll just keep doing this and you can rinse and repeat this pattern over and over and over again until you beat him. And if for some reason things go terribly wrong, you quick save before you sat in the chair so you can just try this again. But this does work. And there you go. So you may be able to do this with the other knuckles, with the, the other uh, attachments or mods for the knuckles. It may be possible. Like I said, I just had the best success with the thermal damage. If you want to try one of the others or you have already done it and you're able to do it with one of the others or you had better success with one of the others, then fantastic for you. I had the best success doing this with the thermal damage knuckles. It's pretty much flawless every time. As you saw there, it works 
really well. All you have to do is make sure you keep your distance between, as much distance as you can in the ring. I know there's not a lot of room to keep between you and him, but try to keep as much distance as you can between you and him in the ring, and then don't block until right before he gets ready to hit you. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. I know, like I said, it used to be you could just drop like a melee weapon and then beat the crap out of him with that or a stun, stun baton and use that. Um, but now that's not a thing. So now you have to beat him legit. And that's how you can beat him really quick and easy legit. All right, if you found this guide helpful and informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other cyberpunk content. And I don't just upload cyberpunk content, I cover all kinds of different games, so you never know when I'm going to be covering a game you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.